Hello YouTube. I'm continually putting in this marine buffer to bring it up to 8.3 once it's up to 8.3, which it's really close. Today will be the last day I put it in, and then you put it in every two weeks um, to keep the pH stable, keep the tank stable. And we have our new bang guy, Cardinal, is doing great. Kind of hanging out in this corner a lot, but he gets around um, all over the tank, really. And there's my cleaner shrimp. And this little uh, hermit crab, looks like he found himself a little bed. <laughs> little hole in the rock that uh, fits him just perfect. Thought that was kind of comical. And um, here we've got our emerald crab tucked underneath in a little cubby spot there. And then here's our long spine sea urchin. And then if we move around the corner over here, we see our usual spot for the for violet, which my grandkids named. And this is our porcelain crab, fanning away, bringing food in. And over here we have another hermit crab and one of the snails. We got a hermit crab up here climbing the glass again. He he goes up there about oh, almost to the top and then drops. I don't know if he's practicing skydiving or what he's doing there. And then we got another one up here. And then we have our feather duster that um, is thriving quite well. Um, Sometimes you can go around the side over here and see it a little better. But he's right in the right in the current and he likes to catch everything coming around the corner here. As this this wave maker here goes out, hits the back corner, comes back around, comes around and then um, moves the particles through the water pretty well. So just sits up there and catches those. And he's up high. He likes it up high to where the current's a lot better. Um, I don't have to have bubbles in here, I just did it for a uh, visual effect. They don't seem to mind it at all. Haven't really seen anything on this live rock at all, um, but it definitely did help start the tank up and get everything ready. Not sure how long it takes for these feather dusters to uh, reproduce, but they reproduce on their own, which is kind of cool. I think they call that asexual. Um, and then uh, here's my shrimp that molted two days after I got him. He's doing quite well. He was picking on my feather duster, but I think he's kind of chilled. <laughs> just like, just like the emerald crab was picking on the. Uh, long spine sea urchin but you can see they kind of spend their time close together now and he doesn't bother it at all so that's that's a plus and this guy for some reason is always looking into my kitchen kitchen's right there and he's always sitting in here looking that direction not always probably 80 percent of the time other times he gets around here and he he swims around he hasn't hosted to the sea urchin yet um Probably because a sea urchin isn't quite big enough. Once it grows bigger, possibly, possibly, um, the Bangai Cardinal will start hosting and swimming through its spines. Right now it would, wouldn't really make any sense to s swim through those spines because they're probably about as big as he is or smaller. I think he's a lot bigger. But that's that's a uh, oh yeah I got another snail up there. That's an update to my tank. I will continue to uh, pour this marine buffer in. Uh, I've got it in a glass here, uh, mixed with one one glass of or one cup of uh, fresh water from the faucet tap water, and it buffers the water to be put in here. In fact, they said use that when I uh, do my. 20% water changes. I haven't done that yet. Uh, it's been about three weeks now that I've had the tank going. I have not done the water change yet. I've got a tremendous filter in here if you haven't seen it. 
I've got a, a bio filter that filters up to a 75 gallon tank and this is a 29 gallon so it does more than its share I, I've only opened this up one time since I put it in here cleaned it out and uh, since then I have not opened it and I'll probably wait a couple months maybe three months before I even um, rinse everything off in it and put it back together it's doing an excellent job of keeping this tank clean and also um, just keeping the water the way it needs to be my ammonia my nitrates nitrites everything is almost zero um, couldn't ask for a better system really and I got that filter with a 55 gallon that I bought but the 55 gallon tank was too big for the house so um, my wife and I wanted to uh, set up this 29 30 gallon so we did that and that's what we have I'll be getting some uh, clownfish I may buy them in a pair um, I'm thinking about Wyoming whites possibly we'll see and uh, might get some polyps some different corals to put in here as well and um, maybe another feather duster I'm not sure um, and a jawfish and uh, what else maybe a wrasse I like the the wrasses I, I had a yellow wrasse years ago and it was pretty awesome but I had a yellow headed jawfish and the only one they have at the pet shop right now is a black jawfish it's alright um, it's not as um, nice looking as the yellow yellow wrasse or different wrasses that they have I'm contemplating whether or not to get another Bangai Cardinal in here so that there will be two of them I'm not sure about that yet but there he's swimming around the tank. He's not just staying in that one corner. He's not too camera shy either. Neither is this guy under here. He's he's enjoying everything. Usually when I put the camera up here, my face up to the tank, he comes out and investigates to see what's going on. But there you go. Uh, thank you again for watching. And uh, any comments, please leave them. And um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.